going to make this um, framelit step up card by Stephanie Bernard. It's 660717. I'm going to use some different papers. I'm not duplicating what it shows here on the front, but this is the actual die set that you can use to make this card. So you can see, oh, that piece is flying out. It comes with the actual card base. This is the card base to make the step up card. So I'm going to be using that. And then it has this piece that goes in the front. You can see in this example where this green paper is. That is what this piece cuts out. And it also has all these other dies in here. There's a square border, rectangular border, another square um, border die. And then there's all these other dies that have some stars. This one has stars on it. Um, it also has some more stars and this one has, I can't tell what this one says. I don't know what this one is. Okay. This one says boy. This is the boy right here. This one cuts out the baby that you see here. And then it also has the cute as a, and it has the, um, what is this, a dragonfly? So this is the die cut to make that. And then it has some extra stars in it. And then the layering pieces for the dragonfly. And oh, this one probably says girl. Um, I'm too busy looking at what this picture shows. But yeah, that one is the girl die. Um, so instead of it saying um, baby boy, you can say baby girl. So um, I am making this card for my niece who is having a baby boy, and obviously I'll be make, using the baby boy dies. I don't know if I'm gonna use the centerpiece or if I'm just gonna do some other things to it. I haven't decided yet, but we will see. I'm gonna start out by cutting out the actual card base. In this picture, the card base looks like it's a black cardstock, and I am going to be using the chocolate cardstock from the Stamps of Life. So this is what I'm going to be using to cut that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cut out the card base and this is what it looks like coming out of the die cut. You can see that the die cut, it puts these score lines in on the card so it shows you where to fold. So you just fold at those score lines And there's the card base. It's a step up card, just like that. I have some leftover paper from this Bundle of Joy collection by Echo Park. Um, I use this for the album, the Baby Boy mini album that I created. So I'm gonna use some of this paper because I want, I, I, I'm thinking that I'm gonna go along with the same theme. Um, if you didn't see the mini album video, make sure you take a look at it, but um, this is gonna be a gift for my niece. I'm gonna give her the album and I'm making a card for her shower. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the same theme of paper and I'm going to use this piece of paper and I'm going to cut out the center piece that is going to go right here on the step up card. It's gonna go in the background and I'm going to use these little banners to put on there. So here's the piece cut out and that's just gonna get glued or taped right in the center. So now I need to get the rectangle pieces to cut out the sides. And you're gonna be using this die right here to cut out those rectangular pieces, which will go here. So we'll need two of those. So for the small rectangle piece, I am going to use the middle part of this lined paper. Again, it's from the Bundle of Joy collection. On the back side has these little um, journaling cards and I'm going to just cut out 
Um, actually, I'm not going to do it that way. I think I'm going to do the stripes going long ways, and I'll cut two out like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start layering these pieces on. I went ahead and put double-sided adhesive on the back, so I'm just going to peel it up. If you'd rather use glue, you can do that. I just find that double-sided adhesive is quicker um, because I want to go ahead and get this card complete or I completed. I don't want to have time wait for the time it takes for the glue to to dry because I have to layer the other pieces on. So again, just peeling this back, we're doing the two side panels. And then we will put the middle piece on. Okay, so there was that. So also in the Bundle of Joy collection pack of paper, I have a scrap piece that looks like this. Um, and I am going to cut the baby boy that go on the sides out of this piece of paper. So I wanna make sure because this die cut is going to be so intricate, I wanna put double-sided adhesive on the back of this paper before I run it through the die cut machine because otherwise it'll just be harder at the end to put the double-sided adhesive on it or um, the glue. Um, it, it's just easier right off the bat if I do it this way. So I'm going to add the double-sided ad adhesive. Just cut off the excess that I don't need. And then, so there's the double-sided adhesive and here's the front piece. So I'm gonna take this layer and I am going to um, put it just like this and lay it flat down on the piece of paper. Ugh, I need to make sure that the rectangle is on the outside of the die cut piece that says um, boy on it, or the, you're using the one that says girl on it. Um, and then that way that it will cut the whole image out. If I don't use the rectangle piece, it will just cut the word into the paper. It won't actually cut it out for me. So I'm gonna do this two times, one for the word baby and one for the word boy. So I went ahead and die cut it. So I'm gonna take this apart. And you see, having that rectangular piece around it, it actually cuts out the paper. So if I didn't have that around it, it would just cut this into the paper and I wouldn't be able to adhere it. Um, so now I can go ahead and take off the pieces that I don't need. And then I can peel this back and that's all sticky on the back of there. And I'm going to adhere this to the panel. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the word baby. And there's what I look my card looks like so far. So to finish up this card, I wanna use one of these um, sticker pieces from the Bundle of Joy Element Stickers. And I'm gonna to add to the front, I was thinking about adding this one here. Handsome, rough and tough, my little man, Bundle of Joy, cute as a button, giggles, giggles, precious. I think that will be really cute because this will fit really nicely right in the center of this card.
So I want to add one of these animal shapes to the front of this card. And I'm thinking that the lion will go good with the brown colors. So because this has sticky on it, I'm gonna have to adhere it to a piece of cardstock and then cut it out because if I wanna adhere it to the bottom, I don't want the stickiness behind here. So I'm gonna take the lion, stick it down to a piece of cardstock. Now I'm gonna cut this out. Now I have the lion all cut out, no sticky on the back. And I was thinking about putting him on this side just because he's leaning into the words, but then his tail would be flapping out here and I'd have to get a larger envelope. So I'm going to put him here just and maybe tilt him a little bit so his tail comes just under the word precious. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back I've got to make sure that I put the adhesive just right because I do not want it coming through and hitting the back of the card so like his head is not going to get any adhesive on it but I'm gonna put some on his feet. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of glue to his tail. There, now his tail sits right below the words. I know he's kind of a little bit crooked, but if I put him straight, the tail would overlap the words and I didn't want that. So that's pretty darn cute. Now I need to put a card stock layer in here so that I can write my message because it's such a dark background. So I'm going to take another piece of this um, cardstock um, or powdered paper from the Bundle of Joy collection. It's the same paper that I used for the background of this. And I'm taking a rectangle die and I'm just going to cut a little piece of this out so I can put this to my die cut machine. The rectangle die is from the Stamps of Life. So I'll go ahead and cut that out. And I'm going to adhere that to the middle. I'm using double-sided tape. Again, you can use the glue if you want. And that's gonna go right in the middle. And on the element sticker sheet, there's a sticker that says, congratulations on your new arrival. And I'm going to place that right here in between the lines. And I'm placing it a little bit higher so that I have room here to write my own message and sign my name. And I'm gonna add just another sticker on the inside. Cute. So here's the finished card. And on the inside, congratulations to your new arrival. Sweet. And it's a step up card. So anybody that receives a step up card, they can display it on their countertop, just like that. Now I used the Bundle of Joy collection from Echo Park to not only do the card for her baby shower, but I also did the album. Notice the paper, all the same theme going on here. But I also did her shower invitations. And here's just three 
of those shower invitations. And again, using the same paper. Um, for the shower invitations, I'll just briefly tell you what I did here. I found an image on Cricut Design Space and I cut it out using my Cricut and the pattern paper from the Bundle of Joy collection from Echo Park. And the wording here, I went on Canva, and if you've never used Canva, it is a free site, and um, there's all kinds of templates that you can use for social media and marketing and design and all kinds of things. But there was this template for an invitation that I used, and I incorporated the colors with matching the colors in the paper and I just filled in her information. And once I did that, I printed it out on cardstock. I printed the picture out on cardstock and I cut it out with a scalloped oval, not a scalloped, but a dotted oval Stamps of Life die. And then I just glued them together. So those were the invitations and I think they turn out so stinking cute. And again, it matches the card and it matches the album. So if you wanted to see the album, um, the inside of the album, you can go to my, um, I have another video on my YouTube page at Lisa Mears Card Designs and you can see the inside of this album. This was a Pinecone Press album that I put together. Thank you for watching and I'm going to go ahead and link below the Baby's First Year YouTube video so that you can see the inside of that album. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube page for more inspiration and tutorials at Lisa Mears Card Designs. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lisa Mears Card Designs and I have a blog as well um, at lisamearscarddesigns.com. See you soon.